huge group of 10 year old Japanese yes. children. Yes. What sort of proportion do you think might be mm. suffering from myopia? Uh, the percentage of uh, myopia is very difficult to say, mm. uh, but uh, we said uncorrected visual acuity less than 1.0 yeah. uh, is uh, about uh, 30 percent. About 30 percent. Uh, yes. So they would be about 30 percent, one yes. in three. Yes. 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 And when you get to the older age, when mm. they are about 15, what, yes. what proportion? Is it yes. still one? Yes. 15, uh, 50. 50 percent in the high school. 50 percent in the high, high school. school students. And university level? Uh, university level is 70. 70 percent. Yeah, 70 percent, I think. And mm. does it ever get higher than 70 percent, or is that the highest it gets? Mm, nowadays it's uh, stable. Mm. Uh, from the, about 70 uh, percent? Uh, yes. At what age do they start suffering from myopia? Mm. Uh, How young? Oh, about uh, the, at the beginning of the primary school, yes. so the 60, uh, six years old. Six mm. years old. Mm. Mm. And which is the period when uh, there is the most rapid development? Uh. Rapid development is uh, uh, ten, 10 years old. 10 years yeah, old. 10 year old is the mo most rapid. Hmm. Do you think this, rapid. this is a problem that has recently happened in Japan or is it an old problem? Hmm? Pardon? Is this something that is, was in uh, the case in the Meiji period and oh. also now or hmm. is it a modern problem? Oh. Modern problem. Uh, it's uh, increasing mm. the myopia. Increasing mm. myopia. Mm. Mm. So there is much, uh, many ideas about what causes myopia. Oh. Um, what, mm. are, what are your ideas mm. about mm. the main reasons mm. for it? Main reason is uh, near task. Near task. Uh, near task is a very important factor. So mm. go close, it, close yes, work. Close work. Mm. That is, are there mm. any other factors as well as that? Mm, uh, also, the factor is a genetic, genetic. Fa factors, and uh, we have uh, many kinds of uh, uh, letters. Mm. Uh, you know, the, uh, your country is uh, 60, uh, 26 letters? Yes, or alphabet. alphabet. Yes. Uh, but uh, we have uh, many kinds of letters, and the katakana. How, and how many letters mm. are there in? Oh, we have uh, three kinds of letters. Yes. Uh, one is uh, uh, 50 letters. Which is that? That's mm, katakana. katakana. Mm. And uh, hiragana is also 50 letters. letters. And also kanji, the Chinese letters. Yes. Uh, we have uh, 2,000. 2,000? 2,000 letters. Chinese. And letters. children have to learn these letters? Yes. Uh, the Chinese and also the Japanese people, mm. uh, many Japanese people learned. How, how do, do these many letters lead to myopia? I mean, what is the co consequence of having all these letters? Is it? Mm. Yes, I think so. Uh, because uh, oh, Chinese people mm. also the high percentage of myopia. Chinese and, also uh, have it, yes. uh, and also Taiwanese and Taiwanese uh, also. But but how percentage. do how is it that having many letters mm. makes your eyes mm. suffer from myopia? Uh, what is a, the connection? Mm, it's a accommodation. Accommodation. Uh, yeah, accommodation is a very important. What does that practice. mean? What is accommodation? Accommodation. Uh, if we see the near work, yes. uh, the near uh, papers yes. or journals, yes. uh, the lens, mm. the crystal lens yes. accommodate. I see. Uh, mm. So your eyes, mm. when you are reading all these many characters, yes. your eyes are, s are strained. Strained, yes. 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 I see. Mm. And also in the writing? Uh, yes, also writing is uh, near, near task, near work. Mm. Uh, is a uh, main uh, cause. Yeah, main cause. Do you? Some people say mm. you mentioned genetic. Mm. Genetic. Um, mm. Some people also say diet mm. has an effect. Vitamin A yeah. deficiency. Yeah. Yes. Uh, some people said the vitamin A or vitamin B uh, is the main, uh, the one of the factor mm. of myopia. 
uh, but it is very difficult to uh, study the clearly the factors of diet. Yes. Uh, it's very difficult. Have there been any studies of Japanese who have mm. gone to America mm. or Germany or England mm. and who therefore have not learnt Japanese mm. but have learnt mm. an alphabetic language mm. like mm. English? Yeah, yeah. Um, do they also suffer from myopia or not? Oh, it is very few, I think. Very few. Mm. So mm. it is definitely mm. learning Japanese and mm. Chinese language. Yeah. Mm. Not so good. Not so mm. good, but mm. when they go and learn American or mm. English, mm. they don't have myopia. Uh, they don't. No, uh, it uh, depends on the genetic factors. Mm. Mm. Uh, I think the Japanese people have uh, uh, genetic factors mm. uh, compared to the mm. European or mm. American people. Mm. Mm. There is also a genetic factor. Mm. Mm. I see. Mm. What are the consequences, what mm. are the effects mm. in Japanese society mm. of, and Chinese society of this myopia, this widespread myopia? Are there any mm. effects on uh, education or society mm. or art mm. or anything? Mm. Yes, uh, we have uh, uh, many uh, hard, hard study. Mm. Uh, to enter the uh, entrance examination of the mm. university. So uh, we have a lot of cram school. Yes, cram schools. schools yes. Uh, and uh, many uh, children and uh, students mm. learned hard. Mm. Uh, learn hard. Uh, yes. So, so the, uh, the mm, student and uh, children and the student uh, used mm. the hardly mm. the eye. They, they mm. strain their eyes by working mm. late at night, cramming mm. for yeah, university. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> after the, uh, after the mm. school, mm. Uh, they uh, go uh, to the cram school, mm. cram schools, mm. and run to so the... So they work into the evening. Uh, yes. mm. I have heard that... Um, I have heard that because Japanese and Chinese are so difficult, much of the time of children in the schools mm. is spent on learning Japanese and Chinese. Yeah, yeah. In a school mm. like this, mm. um, what proportion of the lessons that they do would mm. be on Japanese? Mm. Would it be, I have heard that it was half mm. their lessons are mm. learning Japanese mm. language and writing. Mm. writing. Is, that, mm. is that approximately yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I half so. their lessons from mm. small children up Mm. is learning Japanese. Mm. Is that right? Is that right, I think. Yes. Mm. Mm. Many children from about the age of six mm. through ten yeah. um, suffer from myopia. Yeah. What happens when um, in Europe we suffer from the opposite problem? Mm. When we get about 40 mm. or 45, mm. we begin to have to push things away. We suffer from presbyopia, mm. as you know. We push things away and we mm. can't see them and we need glasses so that we can see things. Mm. Um, what happens in Japan uh, when Japanese reach their 40s? Does their myopia improve or what happens? Mm. No, no, no improved. Uh, in the old age, uh, the refraction uh, gradually uh, go to the hyperopia. Yes. Uh, so that little bit uh, uh, improved. Mm. At uh, what age? What age? Uh, about uh, from 40. Mm. Mm. It's just a little bit of improvement. Uh, yes, a little bit improved. But not uh, very much. No, I see. not so very much. Mm. Fine. Um, I would like to explain why I am interested in this problem. Um, it started with the question of why the scientific revolution mm. occurred in Europe mm. and not in China mm. or Japan. Mm. And this is a big question that many people have asked. The Chinese and the Japanese were very advanced in their ideas. So I began to think that maybe one of the reasons for this were um, instruments made with glass, mm. telescopes, yeah. microscopes, mm. 
uh, vacuum mm. tubes, mm. all sorts of things mm. made from glass. Mm. Now you will probably know that the first telescopes and the first microscopes were developed from spectacles, mm. from glasses. Mm. Um, mm. What happened, mm. it is said, mm. was that in Holland in the 1590s mm. they were making spectacles oh. and someone put two spectacles, mm. one in front of the other, mm. and realized that you could see long distances mm. or you mm. could see very small things. Mm. So spectacles were very important in the development of science. So then there was the question of mm. why spectacles of this kind mm. developed in Europe and not in China or Japan, mm. because the Chinese mm. had um, spectacles mm. like this, mm. but they made them flat without lenses mm. and often mm. colored glass. Mm. Mm. But they didn't make this kind of spectacle until mm. the Jesuits imported them in the 17th century. Oh, oh, oh. So why did the Chinese, who knew about glass, mm. who probably knew about lenses, mm. why did they not introduce mm. spectacles. Mm. So I was thinking about this and then I read the work of a, an American mm. um, who had been brought up in China mm. and he had noticed the many eye diseases of the Chinese mm. and he came and worked for 30 years. Mm. His name was Otto Rasmussen mm. and he noticed the very high levels of myopia among mm. the Chinese mm. in the 1930s mm. in China. And he noticed that this went back a long way in Chinese history. Mm. Now, it occurred to me that if you have myopia, then you need concave lenses, mm. like yes. this, yeah. like this. Mm. So the advantages of Europe was that having presbyopia mm. meant that you needed convex lenses, mm. which yeah. are much e yeah. easier to make, mm. whereas China and Japan, having myopia, mm. needed to make concave lenses, yes. which are, it took an extra 150 years in mm. Europe mm. to move on mm. to this. Now, the other uh, advantage in one sense of Europe, or disadvantage as you, uh, whatever way you like to put it, was that as you get older, in your 40s, it happened to me, um, if you want to read something, yeah. you start off reading it perfectly well like mm. this, and as you get into your 40s, yeah. Yeah. it begins to go further and further mm. away mm. like mm. this. Mm. And the writing is too small, mm. and your arm is too short. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it needs to be out there. So you can't read. Yeah, yeah. And this was a terrible disadvantage in Europe, because in your 40s, you mm. were probably at the top of your mm. job. Mm. You were a, a, an academic mm. or a, a lawyer, mm. and you could no longer read. Mm. So they had to invent something like mm. spectacles mm. in the West. Yeah. Now, China and Japan are in many ways very fortunate Mm. Because with myopia, it's a very efficient, because you can always read. Yes. Or you can always bring it closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. Yes. Um, right. So you can always read. Your hand is always small enough, mm. and it's unlikely that it will get <laughs> right inside your head. Mm. So mm -hmm. they had this advantage. Mm. So my theory is that myopia, through a, a set of um, connections, is one of the reasons mm why China and Japan didn't have a scientific revolution. Oh. Oh. Whereas oh. Oh. in the West, presbyopia is one of the reasons we did have a scientific revolution. Oh. Oh. Now, I wonder what you think about that sort of theory.